Well, uh, we're just going to go through the new Ecotech 2 design uh, on the display because all the user controls have pretty much been removed. So um, I'm just going to quickly go through how you change the hot water temperature and how you change the temperature of the radiator water. So that's not the temperature of the house. You would normally use a room thermostat for that. But the boiler has actually a control over the temperature of the water that's going through the radiators. So you can adjust how hot the radiators get. So you've got to be careful with this because obviously if you shut the radiator temperature down very low, then the house will the house will be low temperature because it will take a long time for the house to get warm. So ideally, you want the radiator temperature fairly high, but if you have young children or vulnerable people in the property, you may want to drop the temperature down a little bit so the radiators don't get too hot to touch. So this is how you can do it. So I'm going to go through the hot water flow, uh, hot water temperature change and the radiator temperature change using the digital display on the older version of the boiler. You would have had two temperature dials, very, very easy to use. You could just turn a dial up, turn it down for hot water and for heating. So, so easy to use. But now, unfortunately, we're stuck with this scrolling menu system on a liquid crystal display where you've got to go into the display to be able to change those temperatures. So keep watching and we'll go through both those methods or procedures. It'll only take a couple of minutes. And this is going to be basically a very quick instructional video on how to set the hot water temperature. So it controls the temperature of the water that comes out of the hot tap um, at any time. And it's a permanent setting, so you can change it up and down. But once you set the temperature, it will regulate to that temperature permanently. Now, if you look at the display at the moment, you can see it's in its grey mode, the LCD display, the backlight is off. So that's how the boiler would normally look. But to activate that, to get the backlight to come on, you can touch any button and that will bring the backlight on so you can actually see the display better. Now, if you look here, you've got a tap sign and you have a radiator sign. So that's indicating this is for heat heating mode and this is hot water mode. So if you want to change the hot water mode, we simply select hot water and then at the top of the display there you will see domestic hot water temperature dhw temperature and it will flash the temperature that the hot water is now set at so that's what it's set at at the moment this is where we use the plus and minus buttons so we can use either of these two buttons to change the temperature so if i wanted to reduce the temperature of the hot water i would use the minus button now i can do it in one degree increments by just touching the button every once every for every degree or I can simply hold the button in and it will scroll through very quickly, go down to whatever temperature and then alternatively back up again. Now ideally most people have their hot water temperature set to around about 60 degrees to 65. So we'll just say we'll be a bit frugal with our hot water and we'll say 60 degrees. Once I've got the temperature set to where I want it, the OK button here is for this button at the top. I push OK, modification accepted and it will go back to the original screen. Now we don't want to leave it there, so we want to come back out of that and go back into normal operating mode. We've got the back button here. We simply push the back button and now the display goes back to normal. And after a few seconds, it will go back into gray mode again because the display is not being used. So that is simply how you change the hot water temperature on your Ecotech 2 boiler. Right, okay then. This is... Um, the new display from the Ecotech 2 boiler from 2012 onwards. Um, it's the same display throughout the range of combination boilers. So what we're going to look at now is we're going to change the temperature of the radiators. So that's the temperature of the water travelling through the radiators. Um, it is not a control or temperature control of the house temperature. Obviously, if you set the temperature of the radiators very low, it will take a very long time for the house to get warm. So ideally, you would normally have the radiator set to around about 70 degrees, possibly 80 or 75 in the winter. But we'll just go through how you can change the temperature of the actual radiators themselves. And simply, we're going to get the display to light up on the backlight so we can see what we're doing. So touch a button and the, back, the display will automatically light up. Then if we look here, we see the radiator symbol. That indicates that we're going to go into central heating mode and we can see there that target flow temperature at the moment is set at 30 degrees this is when we use the plus and minus buttons again to scroll through and we can add temperature 
to the radiators one degree at a time or I can hold the button in and it will scroll through quickly up to the temperature that I want. So we're going to go for 75 degrees, so the target flow temperature 75 degrees, obviously the radiators will get very hot. Once I'm happy with that I can go to the OK button here, push OK, modification accepted and it takes us back to the original screen. Now if we're not, we don't want to change it again, so we're finished now in that mode, so we look at the back button here, back, and we push the back button, and the boiler simply reverts back to its normal display. And that, effectively, is how you change the temperature of your radiators on your central heating system.